Images are used for various purposes with different specifications. So it's important to have your images resized and optimized for better efficiency. Images on a website, for example. Smaller images will promote faster page loading and in return creates better user experience. A presentation slide with optimized image sizing will keep the overall file size small so that the document can be easily shared. Social media platforms will have size requirements of their own and many more. In this video, we'll take a look at how to resize and crop your images using Pixlr X. The resize functions can be found here in the toolbar, under Layout and Templates, or you can also tap the P hotkey. There are two methods for image resizing. Resize image allows you to modify the width and height of the image as a whole. The size displayed would be that of the current image. They can be changed by typing in new values into the text boxes. With the Constrain Proportions function on, width and height values will be changed simultaneously when either one is modified. This retains the original aspect ratio of the image and keeps it from being distorted. But if preferred, it can be turned off, so width and height values can be changed independently of each other. Canvas resize modifies the size of the canvas by adding or removing space around an image. Increasing canvas size would allow for more space to work with should you choose to add more elements or extend certain areas of your edits. However, do note that cropping will occur if the new canvas size is smaller than that of your image. And while technically the canvas resize function can crop images, it's not a method that is commonly used. The relative change function allows for the addition or removal of an equal amount of pixels from around an image. With the function active, width now corresponds to the left and right of the image while height corresponds to the top and bottom. To demonstrate, let's turn on relative change and type in 200 pixels for width and 500 pixels for height. Once applied, 200 pixels are now equally distributed to both left and right and 500 pixels equally to the top and bottom of your image. Anchor point would be the placement of the image in the canvas that's being resized. The nine boxes represent placement options for the image. The one in the center being selected by default. Let's give the canvas a new size. Once applied, extra space is now added around the image based on the new size. The image remains in the middle as we did not change the anchor point. Let's see what happens when a different anchor placement is selected. Picking the upper right box results in the image being placed at the upper right corner as the canvas is resized. Let's move on to the Crop and Rotate tool. Firstly, cropping does more than just remove unwanted outer areas of an image. When used effectively, it can remove clutter or distracting objects, create better emphasis on subjects, help create better composition or framing, change the aspect ratio of an image, and change the orientation of an image. Example number one, remove clutter or distracting objects. In this image, the sculpture on the bottom left does not contribute to the image, but stands out and takes attention away from everything else. Let's crop that away. Select it here on the toolbar or tap C on the keyboard. Selecting the Crop tool will activate a cropping box around the image. This box can be resized to preference by typing in a new size 
or by freely dragging on the handles on each corner and the middle sections of each side. It can be moved around within the image and information outside of its boundaries will be removed once the crop is applied. And that covers point number two, creating better emphasis on subjects. With the sculpture removed, a better focal point is created and our sights will be drawn to the people on the right. Number three, create better composition or framing. In photography, the rule of thirds is a composition technique where an image is evenly divided into nine sections by two horizontal and two vertical lines. When the cropping box is adjusted, the rule of thirds grid will appear. Based on the rule, subjects or points of interest can be placed near, along, or where the lines intersect. This creates a more well-balanced and visually pleasing image. Number four, change the aspect ratio of images. If you need images to be in a certain aspect ratio, use the Select Aspect function and input custom ratios in the text boxes. Or select presets for commonly used ratios from the Preset drop-down menu. Number 5. Change the orientation of an image for specific usage. For example, a horizontal image that you'd like to make vertical for an Instagram story or blog post. Likewise, some of these sizes are available in the presets or can be manually set. Last but not least, rotate and flip your images using the functions here where you can rotate images left or right, as well as flip them horizontally or vertically. And that brings us to the end of this video. Now you have a better idea of how to resize and prepare images for your projects.